Take us out, Frankie. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and describe the subscribe. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, guys, check it out. Uh, Frankie and I are about to sift through some of this compost that we've been cooking for the last couple of months. And then we're going to move all this compost that's done out of this compost bin and we're going to put it into one of our boxes to start getting it ready for the spring. I like to put red worms in my garden, but I like to feed the grub worms to the chickens. What do you say about that? Yeah, sounds good. Let's do it. I'm going to shovel into here and you're going to sift and find the grub worms and put them into that silver thing, okay? Okay. No, no, no. You're going to do it with your hands. That's a red worm. That's staying, right? That's staying. Yeah, red worms are good. We love red worms. Look at those. There's some? Look at those red worms. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. But we're going to keep those. Okay, so they stay there. We're going to pull out, see these green things? Yeah. Ties from the garden, we're going to pull those out too. Sifted. That's two of them. Yep. You want to put those in the tin. Okay. Oh, oh get the one that's off. Oh, here's another one. Get it. Okay. Put it in there. <laughs> the red worms going crazy. What are they? The doing? grub worms are beetles and bugs that have not yet matured, and they like to eat organic material. So that's why they're in here because they like compost. Uh, but they'll also eat. Oh, you, found the red worm in here? you can pull him out. I got him. The, the grub worms will also eat your plants in your garden, so that's why we're sorting those out of here. This kind of dirt would be like my favorite dirt because it kind of has the smell that I like. This is living dirt. This is this is the best dirt in the yard right here. Yeah. This is what we're going to plant our spring garden in. Okay, it might be weird, but it does smell good. Of course it smells good. It smells like life. <laughs> it's also like damp, but not really wet. I, I kind of like that. I like that kind of dirt. Okay, let's dump it. Okie dokie. That's why there's so many worms in here because they're alive. We're of heaven. We're in heaven. Hello. Lucky. You thought you could run away, but no. They're also very slow. So. They're very slow, yes. They're about as slow as a grub worm. We're going to start, after we empty this box, we're going to start a new compost pile uh, in this box. Uh, I think one of your, whatever those are, are ready. Because it, it's different color than all of them. It's pink. Those are just flowers that I stuck there. They're not even plants. They're not even vegetables. Uh -huh. Pretty much every time you find one, it's always like curled up. Oh. 
has a lot of grip bumps already. So like if you were one of the people who don't sort through this, pretty much all your plants would just die. Well, point. these grubs are going to turn into something. I don't know what kind of grubs these are, but they're going to turn into some kind of beetle or something and they're going to come up out of the ground and go on about their life. But while they're developing, they're, they're eating your garden. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Ooh, he almost got away. Yep. If I didn't see his little bumps. So basically when everything decomposes, like the eggshell or whatever else is in here, it just turns into this dirt, this live dirt. That's exactly what it does. That's exactly what compost is all about. It's about taking organic material, which is plants mostly, and Turning it into dirt, into really good dirt, yeah, dirt that is going to help awesome plants grow. Like your tomatoes, or garlic, or broccoli, or Brussels sprouts. Yep, all, that fun all stuff. Of the above. Oops, sticker. Sticker. We don't want you. I found one of those like zip tie things. Probably one of the most random things I could find in here, but there's one. Here's two. Ooh, that's big. Grab one. Eh. Another one. Mom would probably never help you do this in a million years. Because it would get under her nails. And she would be crazy. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised what mom might do. I've seen her gut a fish. Sure, I have two, but I probably just don't remember. Should I dump this now? Go ahead. And then I'll just make sure I didn't miss any grubs. that dinner? You gonna eat them? I don't know. If I fry them up, will you eat them? I don't know. Like if I put some uh, some batter on them, fry them in some lard. Crispy kale in them. Make some grub crispy kale and onions. There you go. Nice dinner for you. <laughs> Sounds so weird. They just like rub up against the metal and it's just like a weird sound. Kind of disturbing, but So what do we got there? We got a we got a wheelbarrow full of dirt, don't we? Yep. What are we gonna do with it? We are gonna use it to we're gonna put it in these boxes. So then we can get ready for springtime when we need to plant more tomatoes like this dead bush. Plant a new one. Frankie, what are we going to do with this empty box right here? We're collecting all the leaves that are everywhere from all these uh, trees, and we're going to put them in here. We're going to add anything to them. Some coffee grounds, some chicken poop, get some nitrogen in there because the leaves got a lot of carbon. I cracked eggs earlier. We can put the eggshells in here too. Yeah, we can put the eggshells in there. And after we put all the leaves and the eggshells and the chicken poop, um, in another month or so, what are we going to have? Compost. Dirt. dirt, good dirt. Dirt, wood, compost stuff. Fun yeah. Stuff. More grubs. More grubs, probably. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
As for these little guys, they're going to the chickens. <laughs> nice. You wanna do that now? Sure. Let's do it. Watch some lunch, guys. This bed had tomatoes in it last season, but what I'm doing right now is getting it ready for a winter planting of onions using our homemade compost. That's why we have kids, folks. Yeah. This is some non-composted shredded leaves Frankie, grub. grub. Nope, forward. This way. Ah. Got it. This little buddy trick to run away. Go give it to the chickens? Yeah. Give it to one of the ducks. These leaves are gonna do a couple things. They're gonna help keep the soil warm. Uh, they're gonna help act as a little bit of weed barrier. They're going to themselves uh, begin to decompose and uh, they're gonna keep the barn cats and the outside cats from turning this into a litter box. <laughs> we got some more of these that we're gonna put on the garlic over there later, but there it is. This bed is now preparing itself biologically for the planting that's coming of onions in a few weeks. And I'm sure we'll film that. Take us out, Frankie. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. The subscribe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark. <laughs> Ready? Thanks for watching, guys. Plane. <laughs> what are you going to say? Let's practice. Thanks, Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon so that you can see what's new on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> She's like, Deuces. mic drop. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you were happy with that take, huh? <laughs>